In this video, we are going to understand how to send WhatsApp messages on JotForm submission. So here are the objectives. Every time a new response is received through JotForm, which is a form builder application, then automatically a WhatsApp message must be sent to this particular lead through AISNC, which is a platform for sending WhatsApp messages. Now, how can that be done? For this, we will be integrating these two applications using Pabli Connect. Here, my trigger application will be JotForm and my action application will be AI Sensei. Now to understand how you can do this yourself, integrate and automate this entire process, let me take you to my screen. So this here is a dashboard of Pabli Connect. You can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. If you are an existing user, simply sign in and if you are a new user, sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. And once you're done, so here you will reach the dashboard. Now on the right hand side, you can see this tab create workflow as I click on this. So a dialog box has appeared. Here we have to name our workflow. So here I'm going to name it as send WhatsApp message on JotForm submission. I'm going to click on create. As we do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger here is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the automated response of our trigger application. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. So every time you swipe your card and the payment is made, then you receive a notification of an SMS or WhatsApp about the payment made. So this is automation. In this case, your trigger will be the payment mode and your action application can be SMS or WhatsApp sending platforms. Now let's come to our use case and here our trigger application will be JotForm. Let's click on this. Next is the trigger event. So this is the event that is going to make this workflow run and here it will be new response. So every time you receive a new response, this workflow is going to trigger. Now here you have received a webhook URL. This is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect and JotForm. Now here we have the instructions. So please read this carefully and now let me show you how you have to do this. So this here is my JotForm account and here I have created a form. The name is contact form. So if you wish to create a new form, you can just click on this orange tab. Okay, now let me click on edit form. As we do that, so this here is the form right in front of us. So it's a very basic form. Let's see the fields, first name, last name, email address, phone number and gender. Okay, now we have to go to settings. On the left hand side, we have integrations. Let's click on this. And here we are going to search for webhooks. Let's click on this. Now the webhook that we have received here, I'm going to copy this once again and paste the same here. Let's click on complete integration. And you can see that the integration is ready. Finish and we are done. So once this is done, here it is saying that once you have added the webhook URL, we have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So now I'm going to take you back to JotForm and here I'm going to click on publish. As I do that, this is the link to share. I'm going to open this in a new tab and this here is the form. Let's fill up the form. So here, let's say the first name is smart. The last name is user one. This here is the email address. Then I'm going to enter the phone number. And then here we have to select the gender. Once done, let's click on submit. So you can see that the form has been submitted. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And here we can see that we have received the response. Let's check out our response. So this here is the webhook URL. Then we have got the username as i take you down so here we have got the email address of our user last name first name then we have the gender and mobile number now once i have received this information what is my objective to send a whatsapp message to this person for this i'm going to use the application ai sensi let's click on this and then the action event here will be to send template message let's click on connect so here, Pabli Connect wants to connect itself with WhatsApp by AI Sensei account. Let's click on add new connection. Now to set up this connection, we need this API key. How can we receive this? So here we have got the instructions. I already have logged into my AI Sensei account. So let me take you there. Now here we have to go to manage. Within this, we have got API key and this here is our API key. So I'm going to click to copy 
once copied let's paste this here and click on save so here we can see that whatsapp by ai sensei and pabli connect are now integrated let's go down and now here we have to fill in this information first of all the campaign name so these campaigns are basically the template messages that we have created so the campaigns have got different templates let me show you the same so here i'm going to take you to campaigns and you can see this is a new campaign that i have just created let's click on this so what is the campaign type api what, what is the message type template text then here is the template name and it was created on this particular date and time as i take you down so here we have got the message dear then there is a number within double curly braces and here we have got the message welcome to pabli connect we are glad to have you on board enjoy the latest updates on integration and automation applications and a lot more a welcome kit has been shared with you at another number within double curly braces please feel free to connect in case of any query regards pabli connect now this here is the message what are these numbers within double curly braces these are variables that can be changed with every message which means every time you have received new information so you do not have to write it manually so it is automatically going to get personalized okay so now we need the template name so here is our template name i'm going to copy this go back and here i'm going to take you to pabli connect paste this name here let's remove the refresh part now here we have to enter the mobile number and here i'm going to click on this and as i click so you can see the previous response let's click on this as i take you down this here is the mobile number now this method with which i have added the information here is known as mapping and this is important so that every time the workflow runs in real time with some new information it can take that information let's say that i had written the same manually then even when it had some new information it wouldn't have taken that instead every time the workflow runs it would have taken the same mobile number so to avoid that we map the information so if you have some static information you can manually write it if you have dynamic information that is going to keep on changing then you have to map it and here it is also written that whenever you are writing the mobile number you have to enter the number along with the country code so here the country code is there but not the plus sign so here i'm going to mention the plus sign next here we have to enter the username let's click on this go to step 1 so this here is the first name let's give a space and this here is the last name then if you wish to add the source of lead you can add it here similarly you can add some tags here then we have the template parameter so parameter values to fill in a template message so let me show you this was the template now here we have two variables one where we have to fill in the name another one where we have to fill in the email address so here i'm going to take you back to pabli connect so here i'm going to enter the template parameter let's click on this go to step 1 first of all we need the name so here we have the first name let's go back this here is the last name now i'm going to separate this with a comma then we have to add the email address so here is the email address now if you wish to enter any attributes you can do the same and if you have any file to be sent along with the text message then the name has to be entered here and the url has to be entered here now i'm going to click on save and send test request and here you can see that we have received the response which means that now a message must be received by the user on whatsapp let's go and check the same and yes here you can see that we have received the message so this basically means our integration is a success but we also need to check the same in real time so again i'm going to take you back to jot form open this link in a new tab let's fill up the details let's say the first name is dummy the last name is new 123 this here is the email address then here we have the phone number and then we have to select the gender so here let's say it is a female i'm going to click on submit so as soon as this form has been submitted what should happen automatically another message must be received on whatsapp and yes here it is so we can see now this has been addressed to dummy new 123 here is the email address so this means we are totally done with our integration now i'm going to take you back to pabli connect to understand what we have done so here our trigger application is jot form where the event is new response and our action application is whatsapp by ai sensei where the event is send template message i hope this is absolutely clear to you 
If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.